right before we came back from break, I'm going to replay what just happened. Stephanie goes like this. She goes like this. She's, oh, I think I forgot my deodorant. <laughs> you know I'm classy like that. Okay, let's go back to the intro. Hey, when it comes to versatile... When it comes to versatile foods, bread pudding is probably not the first thing that comes to mind, but it should be. Please welcome the master of all things sweet and savory, Stephanie Hansen. I, I shouldn't that. lift up my arms. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you um, know, I got a new puppy. Did and, you? Oh, I did. And it's great. Did you bring a picture? Oh, he's on my Instagram, Stanley. We adopted him from a rescue last Friday, so we've had him a week. And... Like, just getting ready, because I'm like... It's... Yeah, yeah. it's a lot. Um, can I say, too, an addendum to what I was saying about the Oprah Dr. Phil story, the, the staff reminded me of two other people that always... The... Uh, what is it, Oak? What is it, Eric? North Oaks. The North Oaks Rummage Sale ladies, they always send me tons of emails thanking me. And then the etiquette lady from the St. Paul Hotel. Oh, she's a great guest. She's a too. great guest. Yeah. And you've, been, you've sent me very sweet text messages. I try. But I don't count you... Because you're a friend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we talk all the time. Yeah, yeah. but, you know, yeah, you anyway. could, I could be your Dr. Phil. You could be my Oprah. Sure. Anything's possible. Well, that's anything's possible. All right. Um, what are we doing? Okay, so we interviewed this cookbook author that is a global phenomenon, Yotam Odalengi, and I was so impressed with him. What? You would say it again? Yotam Odalengi. He's I like Israeli. That name. Oh, but he I has love these that name. great cookbooks that are really great for home cooks, plenty, simple, and he does a lot with vegetables. Okay. And we were talking to him about COVID. He was like, I was on the sourdough bread train, and then I had all this sourdough, so I was making bread puddings all the time. And I was like, for Mother's Day, like egg bakes is what we make in the in the Midwest. Yeah. And we make them in our casseroles or our hot dish. Yeah. But like egg bake, bread pudding, strata, it's all very similar. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to do an egg bake and I'm going to call it bread pudding because it's mostly bread with an eggy custard. But it's the same, basically. So yeah. bread pudding and egg bake. Are there are they cousins? They're really close cousins because like strata but not is in gonna, a creepy way. No. Yeah. <laughs> not in an Alabama way. <laughs> no, Jason, not yeah. like that. Okay. It's gonna be like an, a strata is gonna have more bread, an egg bake's gonna have a little more egg, but they're all like egg and custard and little cream, a little leftovers, cheese. So if you're like at home and you have nothing but you have stale bread. This is why you never throw away like the heels of your bread or day old bread. You just cut it into cubes, throw it in the freezer, and you can either put it in a pan and roast a chicken on it, and then you eat those little crispy bits. Oh, it's so delicious. Or you can use it for stuffing or like make a bread pudding. I made a savory bread pudding and I also made a sweet one. Okay, we'll get to the sweet in a minute. Okay. What, what are we looking at? This so is a beautiful is, shop that Eric has. Yeah, there. and this is in my beautiful dance pan that I recommended for Mother's Day that you guys get. Actually, as I was walking this in, someone um, on the Fox staff was like, oh, I need to get that pan for my wife. Where did you get it? I was like, I know, it was a Mother's Day suggestion a week ago and you should. <laughs> so. This is just, it is eggs, cream, sausage, a little sage, a little onion, a little spinach, and a little cheese. Really? But you can kind of see, like, it, it compresses so that you get, like, that little bread puddy feeling. And it's delicious. May you I can eat? make it ahead, yes. You keep talking while I eat, okay? Okay. And it's just, it's a great dish for a brunch, a lady's lunch, a wedding shower, because you literally prepare it the night before so that it sets up and soaks in all the egg custard, and then you unwrap it in the morning and bake it. So mm. I baked this at about seven o'clock this morning. Mm. And you know, like, I'm not a doctor here, but eggs aren't gonna go bad if you leave it out like for an afternoon on your counter. Oh God, so you scared me. I'm sitting here eating this and you're like, No, okay. no, no. So um, just, yeah, real good. Steph. This is real good. And he doesn't like all my stuff, but no, he I know. hides and it I very would, well. You no, know, and the audience knows that. I'll, I'll gladly tell you, this is good. Yeah, it's this sausage, is real good. sage, onions, and you can make it for Mother's Day, and it's real easy. And if you don't have leftover bread, here's a trick. I bought a boule, like, which is a sourdough round loaf, and I cut it into like one-inch cubes, and I just left it on a sheet pan out for two days so it dried out. This is great. Yeah. We have more. We're not done. No. I'm going to eat. You're going to watch these commercials, and we'll be back with a sweet right after this. Back in a moment. <laughs> Sincerely. What kind of bread is this? The sweet, the sourdough? Yeah. Like a bowl. This is this 
She's sweet, she's sweaty, she's Stephanie Hansen. <laughs> I am sweaty. They used to call me Pity Scent when I would lead a sales meeting because I had these like silk shirts on and there'd be like a big circle of sweat because I'd be so anxious about leading the meeting. So they just started calling I'm me. I'm sorry, I had to get something back no, there. No, I know. Yeah. It's um, too much information. You know, you know how on the Great British Bake Off, what's his name, Paul Hollywood, does the handshake? Oh, do I get a handshake? That <laughs> is a handshake. Oh, I love it. Thank you. I'm not joking. Oh, that's so great. Because as Steph said, y'all know, you know too, I can't hide it on my face when a guest has me eat something and I just kind of like it. I'm just, mm, that's good. That is probably, that is top five things that you've ever made on this oh show. Oh my gosh. And uh, the, the savory. The Mountain Dew apple dumplings. I mean, the cookies, oh, all yeah. the things. Right okay. there. Okay, now we're all gonna right. do sweet. So bread pudding, same concept, but you can make it sweet. Now, here's a little bit different tip. You can use the same day old bread that you had in your savory bread pudding, or you can get fancy and you can use like leftover waffles, leftover French toast, leftover croissants. In this instance, I used brioche that I bought at the store. It's a little lighter texture, so I cut it up and let it sit out for a couple days to get dried out. But you can use a sweet bread that gives the sweet bread pudding a little more oomph in the sweet department. Kendall, come here. Okay, he's gonna make you try the sweet, Kendall. Yeah. This isn't okay. the bread you told me about, right? No, it's good bread. Okay. Okay. And these are my grandma's just, these are my grandma's vintage dishes that if they my are? Aunt Karen is watching, she yeah. saved them for me. Hi, Aunt Karen. <laughs> she will be so happy. Okay, that is a oh, big, at, yeah, chunky so Ooh, monkey. Kendall, eat that one. Okay, so this one is same <laughs> situation. What's the flavor in this one, my love? It is lemon and blueberry. Favorite and combo. The only lemon is just a little lemon zest. The blueberries. With your zester. Yes, with my zester. You know that's my favorite kitchen I know, tool. I use it for everything. You love I your love zester. zester. Okay, and then you have custard, you have cream, and you have, I put cinnamon, but it's just sweet instead of savory. What do you think? Okay, yeah, I don't. I, I want you to, I, oh wait, you don't eat meat. You're a herbivore. Sorry. But um, no, but that one, make that Kindle without meat. You said there's a cheesy there is. version, on right? My, on my website at stephaniesdish.com, I have a recipe for cheesy bread pudding. Did you say this, what is in here? There's like, it's almost like ricotta okay, flavor. Okay, that's the hidden secret ingredient. I'm glad you pointed this oh. out. You found a secret hidden? And I didn't tell Jason, because he always, he always wrinkles his nose up when I do it. So I'm not going to tell okay. you until he does it. Okay, you tell him what you're making here right while now, I, I am making a mamosa. This is Aperol, which makes a delicious drink called the Aperol Spritz. You use about one ounce. It's a little bit of a bitter orange flavor. Why would you think I wouldn't like this? Well, because I'm going to tell you after you have that second bite. <laughs> then you use. The is there like reindeer in there or something? Is it ranch? Goat cheese. Ooh, goat cheese. And I told you I, I like sneak, goat cheese. I know, but I sneak it into lots of things. I put it mm -hmm. in the carrot cake frosting. Part of the reason is it gives wow. like a little more savory flavor depth to these very sweet things. That's like maple phenomenal. Maple syrup, sugar. It no, really helps. Yeah. That is amazing. And it makes it not so cloyingly sweet. Okay, we mm -hmm. have one minute to finish the okay. mamosa. So this is the mamosa. And I realized I forgot the orange juice, but you'll get the gist. So you're going to have one ounce of your Aperol. You're going to have about a third of a cup of orange juice, and then you're going to finish it with Prosecco. Prosecco is just sparkling wine. It's called Prosecco because it is um, French. You can have Cava is Spanish sparkling wine. It's the same stuff. It's just made with different grapes. Okay. So this is a really cheap bottle of sparkling wine. It's about $10. So you don't have to buy fancy, expensive no. wines for your mimosas. In fact, it's better if they're not fancy because they're sweeter. The La America Prosecco is a little bit more, but this is great if you have someone that maybe isn't going to drink the orange juice and just is going to drink the sparkling plain. Okay. So you've got your Aperol. It's kind of a little mm. bitter orange flavor. You've got your sweet Prosecco, and then you'd finish it off with your orange juice. And it just makes your mimosa a little more elevated like than yeah. just throwing orange juice and sparkling in a glass. I mean it, uh, two of the best things you've ever made on the show. Hooray! Yeah. And then where can they, people can find the recipes on your website? Yeah, stephaniesdish.com. Yep. There we go. You can find the recipes for both the bread puddings at stephaniesdish.com. And obviously we'll be posting this whole segment on uh, social media to search and start following Jason Show TV. We will be right back. Back in a moment. That was so good. The sweetest, the goat cheese, I love goat cheese.